Hi, I'm Ben Kulch from Pope Scientific. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about wiper wear and also uh, potentially balancing your wiper retainer on your wipe film still. You'll notice uh, when you take a unit down for service that you may find that the bottom wipers on your unit have been excessively worn. Uh, there's two reasons for this. One, typically you're evaporating material as it comes down the wipe film still and so you have less lubrication on the bottom. This may cause premature wear, which eats away at the teeth on the wiper roofs. If that is not the case, however, uh, it may be possible that your wiper retainer is out of balance. And if that is out of balance, this video will instruct you on how to correct the balance of your wiper retainer. If you suspect that your wiper retainer is out of balance, the best way to check this is using a noose clamp. What you'll do is you'll remove one of your noose clamps, like Dave is doing here, and you'll place it up close to the wiper retainer. You can then turn on the wipers at a very slow speed, at the minimum speed that they're out, they'll operate. And you can watch to see if there's any run out on the wiper retainer. As you can see here, the wiper retainer gets closer and further away from the brass knurled nut, and that is indicative that there is runout. The runout specification that Pope recommends is that there is less than one eighth of an inch of runout. If you suspect that your wiper retainer is out of balance, the first thing you want to do is, in, is check to make sure that the alignment marks are in the proper spot. On top of the wiper retainer, there'll be alignment marks here where it's connected to the shaft and then on the actual retainer. If those alignment marks are not aligned, correct this and see if that fixes your issue. If not, then you may need to make adjustments to the actual retainer. To adjust the wiper retainer, you'll use the noose clamp again with the brass knurled nut facing the retainer. You'll then have to find the location in its spin where it is closest to the brass knurled nut. Once this is found, you can take the wiper retainer, putting your hand on the top of the wiper retainer, not above the shaft so that you do not bend the shaft, but on the top of the wiper retainer and then on the bottom. And you'll gently pull on the wiper retainer opposite of the knurled nut. There'll be a little bit of force there, but you, but you don't want to jerk on it too hard. Then you'll again spin the wiper retainer and check how close it is to being in balance. This procedure should be repeated until you get a balance that is within an eighth of an inch. After a little persuasion to the wiper retainer, you should see that it comes into balance, again, within an eighth of an inch. You wanna first spin it slow to ensure that you don't see much run out. And once you've found that there's not too much run out, you'll increase the speed on the wiper retainer. Obviously being careful that you stay out of its way because it could cause injury if you get your hand in there. At full speed, if you do not see any excessive runout or hear any excessive vibration or noise, you now have a balanced wiper retainer.